Okay, here's a few observations for you to maybe write down and pay attention to that will turn up the sensitivity of your gaslighting radar in case someone's gaslighting in your life. Number one, you're constantly second guessing yourself because gaslighters make you paranoid about you knowing your own mind. Secondly, you ask yourself, am I too sensitive? And you do that too many times a day because they make you feel you're the problem. Number three, you're always apologizing to your gaslighter, your mother, your partner, your friend, your boss, and you're apologizing all the time to them. Number four, you make decisions, you make choices in your life with your gaslighter more in mind than yourself being in mind in those choices you're making. Five, you frequently make excuses for your gaslighter's behavior to friends and family who watch them gaslighting you. Number six, you withhold information from your family and friends so you don't have to explain um, your gaslighter's behavior. You make excuses for them because they know it's going on in your life. Number seven, you lie about your true feelings for fear of upsetting your gaslighter. Number eight, a sense that you used to be a very different person. You're more confident, more fun, more relaxed, more playful than you were before you got into this gaslighting situation. Number nine, you feel you can't do anything right anymore. And number 10, you feel stuck, joyless and hopeless because being in a gaslighting relationship ultimately, eventually, can get to a place where you feel stuck and joyless and hopeless. Any of that checklist applied to you? Any of that, my camera, my wind blew my camera open. Any of that applies to you, then you are possibly in a gaslighting relationship and you need to begin to disentangle from it. All right, cheers.